Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another BT Neanderthal video. Today we're going to be covering how did I get my load screens in Diablo 2 resurrected so fast. The first thing that I did was I reformatted my M.2 after copying over all my information over to some brand new SSDs that I just bought. I wiped out my M.2 fresh installed Windows and I started from scratch. Then I reinstalled all the games and everything that I needed. Just from that change, the load screens were a lot faster than they were. Then extracting the files, um, basically preloading the game. This guy, North Dakota from Reddit has made a post on this. Mr. Llama actually was the first person to show me this. So thank you, shout out to Mr. Llama there. We're gonna follow along here. Basically, there's a couple things that we really care about here. The main thing is advanced tip two. It talks about some other tips that will speed it up like dash no sound shortcut, but we're going to be using direct text. Now you can either do that with the shortcut here, which I'll show you how to make a shortcut. We go to Diablo two here. We go to program files. Uh, so you're basically your main drive, your C drive, your program files, x86 Diablo two resurrected, and then D two R exe. You want to make a shortcut here you create the shortcut and then move it to desktop i already did that here so you could launch it right from the desktop and not even have to go through the launcher and to do it in the shortcut as we see here in the preview we go to properties and we go over here to target line and we do dash direct and dash text here and that's again if you're going to be launching from the shortcut on occasion if you're playing online go through the launcher to remind the game that you actually own this to remind blizzard that you own this game and that your account is refreshed otherwise like once per day i think i have to log in but then after that i can use the shortcut all day but i'll show you how to do it through the launcher here so we go to game settings and then you can do dash direct and dash text in the additional command line argument here so you can just hit that check mark and then type dash direct dash text as well. And then you're done. The first thing is we download the cask viewer and that's what we have here, right? We have it downloaded. And then once we have that extracted, we can go over here, right? X84, depending on if you're Windows uh, 64 bit, 32 bit. And then you extract it and you extract it all. And depending on which folder you choose, I chose um, documents to go to. So we extracted it here. You'll see caskview.exe. We want to open that. Now, now that we're here, we go to open storage. Now what we want to do, as it says in the guide, we want to go to Diablo 2 resurrected. We want to select that folder. Now, we go over here to data, we open up data, and we see these folders. So this is where you want to click extract. Now let's double check here. We breeze through a bunch of these things. Again, the appropriate version. Again, we were at x84, which is 99% of the computers you're gonna be using most likely. And then we hit the open storage like we did. We picked and selected Diablo 2 resurrected and we click data and we click data again. And then now we're on data and we hit extract. Now it's important that you extract this to something that you can remember where it goes to. It does default to the work, but the first time I did this, it did not default to the work. So make sure you know where it's extracting to here so you can get to those files. Because it takes a while to extract. Um, it's gonna be going through like 40 gigs of information. The work file is right next to where you extracted the cask view. So it should be right there. As you can see, we've done this already. We have all the information in here. And uh, what will be in here, I already moved it because I did it myself, is global, HD, and local. Okay, now that they're extracted, again, this took a while, probably like half an hour or something like that, to actually extract all these things because 40 gigs. You take all those items, right, which would, would be in here, right, in the work file, and data, and then under data, and then you have the uh, global, the HD, and the local folders. All you need to do is move those into this folder here, like so. Normally, when you enter this folder, it will only have these three things. 
So you want to add global, HD, and local from the extracted files into here. You're all set now. Make sure that you have it all set up to have direct and text on, whether you're going through the launcher or if you're going to be going through the shortcut, which is mostly recommended for single player. And you have direct text here. We're going to launch it through here. I'm going to show you my load times. All right, so now that we're actually here, the act changes take the longest, but as you can see, this is currently single player and I'm actually loading in a lot of the time before the fire from the waypoint activates, which means we're going very fast. So it's almost LOD speeds. Again, the more that you actually do this, the faster it's actually going to go because you're preloading. So if you have a character that can go through all the waypoints like we are here, that is actually the best case scenario. Look at how fast these load times are. Again, in short, for summary, all I did was fresh start on my M.2, reinstalled Windows, reinstalled everything, including D2R, and then I did the extraction, which is what we just talked about. Now the thing is, Act 5 is still slowish, but that's just because it's Act 5. Act 5 just does take a long time to load, but after you've gone through it a few times, like look, we'll go back to back to ones we've already been to, back to town. Like the load times are are a lot faster the more you go through them. But this is definitely bearable. Again, the slowest parts are going to Act 5. Right here. Like, that's the slowest it's going to go. Worldstone. Ancient's Way. Yeah. So it's very, very fast. We'll go to Outer Cloister. Bam. Instant. So, even the light cannot pierce this gloom. Feels amazing, man. Now I'll show you online just because this was single player to show you that this is actually legit. I'm going to go on my Paladin, we'll go to Hell, and I'll show you online. And again, very fast load times. And I'm very happy about this because when I first started, people would know. If you're watching my stream, we'll go for the longest load here. Let's see. Let's see how long this takes. Bam. Instant. Basically. <laughs> But this is online again. For people that were watching me when the ladder started, I had the worst load screens. And I was like, okay, after Teo hits 99, I am going to conquer these load times. And exactly, we did exactly that. So hopefully you found this video helpful and educational. If you are seriously hardcore about getting your load times cut down, you can do it. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, check me out on Twitch which is going to be way up there in the top middle of the screen. Also I have a Discord and Twitter, links for all that stuff in the description below. Please like the video, it would help me out and subscribe because I'm going to be making more content for Diablo 2 and I'm coming out with a series soon to hopefully educate all the people. Much love everybody, you're all beasts.